Hello and welcome to the 55th video in this series for Beginners Programming in C. So in this video we'll carry on from the previous video directly and that is more stuff with our doubly linked list. You remember we have now the add to end in there, the add to start in there and in our structure at the top here the next and the previous making our double links in our list. So the thing uh, I want to do in this one is look at actually how we might delete out of the list. Now there are a lot of ways of doing this and I won't be doing this with any kind of efficiency in mind. I want to make it as simple as possible to understand because it can get a little bit uh, confusing. The first thing I've done, I've made some small changes already to the code. I've added the print list underneath the add to start and underneath the add to end so we get an automatic printing of the list when we add a car. And I've also changed the add end just to add and changed the number of characters here obviously to three. And what I'm going to do now is take this else if here and just add in a new command, call it delete, uh, put the six characters in here. And now what we're going to do, same principle, we'll always return the pointer to the first car on our list and we'll call this one delete, but obviously we haven't um, made the function yet. And the way this is going to work, just to talk through it before we do the function, is twofold. The first thing is it's going to ask for the name of the car we want to delete and then it's going to loop through, starting with the start pointer, all of the cars on our list until it finds a car with the name of the car that we want to delete. And if it doesn't find the name, it won't do anything, obviously. And then when it's found the car, if you imagine we have a chain of three cars, car one, car two, and car three. Now car one's next pointer will point to car two and its previous pointer to nothing. Car two's next pointer will point to car 3 and its previous pointer to car 1 and car 3's next pointer will point to nothing or null and its previous pointer will point to car 2. So say we want to delete car 2 what we have to do then is make sure that the car pointed to by the previous pointer of car 2 which is car 1 its next pointer is now going to point to car 3 and also car 3's previous pointer now needs to be set to point to car 1 and not car 2. And that's the slightly confusing thing in the mind that can um, occur when you write these kind of functions that you have to be a little bit careful with. So just above the cleanup here we're going to write the function. I'm going to cheat and just take this definition here to save a little bit of time and drop it in like so and then we'll rename this now delete taking in our start pointer and the first thing that needs to be done obviously is we need to ask for the name so we'll just put a print f and enter name to delete can't type as usual never mind and we'll make uh, an array of characters for our inputs let's make it 16 long and we'll use the use then f gets just to get this remember throughout this series I haven't done any concentration when we're doing things like this. It's about speed to uh, actually check that the input's valid or anything. I trust that if you're wanting to practice these function things, you're not going to mess up the input writing things in. Okay, so now we have the name. We need to set a few things up to start with. We need a couple of pointers. The first one we're going to do is have what's called our reference car. And we'll be starting at the first car on the list with our reference car. And then what we also need is we need to have our car to delete, which will set to nothing at the start. And this will be set to point to whatever car we want to remove if we find the car of the name that the user has entered. So like I said, the first thing to do now is to find the uh, relevant car in the list that we actually want to delete. Now remember, if we have nothing on the list, then at all to start with and this will already be null. So we can say that while and car ref is not equal to null and all we're simply going to do is say that car ref is equal to car ref next. So all this loop at the moment is doing is simply looping through all of the cars in the list and eventually obviously because the next pointer on the last car will be null, car ref will be null and the list will end. Before we do that, we actually need to do something and that's see if we have our car. And we'll do this using the strn comp. So if we say strn compare, so string compare for a number, we're comparing what the user has put in 
we want the name of our current car in the list. Remember, we'll be starting with the first car in the list here. We want to compare input and name, and we also need the number of characters. So we'll use str length to get the length in characters, and we'll take our car ref name to do that. And we'll say if that's equal to zero, then we have a match and we found the car that we want to delete. So we can say that our car to delete equals the address of our car ref. So that's going to point at the same place and we can break. Otherwise the loop just continues. So the end of this while loop will have either car to delete still null because we didn't find the car or car to delete will now be pointing at the car that we want to actually remove. So now we can come to the removing part and this is where it gets a little bit tricky because we might be a trying to remove something from a list that's empty or b removing the car at the start of the list. So let's deal with the start of the list and remember I'm not doing this whole function in the most efficient way but I want to break it up so it's a bit easier to understand. There is a, a more efficient way of doing this. So we'll say if the start pointer is not null so we do have something at the start of the list and the car to delete is equal to the start pointer. Now the thing with this equals to remember here, we're using pointers. If I had the asterisk in here, and these were integers say, this would compare the values that each of those are pointing at. What this is asking here is are they pointing to the same address? So are they pointing to the same area? And there's a crucial difference, which I'm sure you appreciate, because if it's looking at values, they could be objects that have the same values but they're actually different objects. Here we want to know if they're looking at the same address in the memory so we don't use the star here. So this is saying if we do have at least one car on the list because the start pointer is pointing to something and the car we want to delete is that then we have to do something with it. So the first thing we have to do is say do we actually have another car or do we just have one on the list? So we'll say do we have a next car? So if the next car is not equal to null, remember our car to delete is now pointing at the first car on the list, then we want to set the previous for that car, because it's the next car in the list, now equal to null, because it's not going to have anything behind it, because our, start, our first car on the list is now going to be removed. And what we then want to do is now move our start pointer whoops, to point to this next car. So that should be fairly clear. So we've got two cars on the list, we want to remove the first one. We take the second car's previous, and that's now pointing to nothing because we're removing the first car. And now we move our start pointer to point at the second car on the list. Otherwise, if there wasn't another car on the list, then we're removing simply the only car on the list. We'll set point start pointer to null. We'll deal with car to delete at the end of the code here, if you're wondering. Else, we're not dealing with the first car on the list, so we don't need to mess around with our start pointer. So we need to do another couple of things. First of all, we'll say, OK, do we actually have a car we want to delete? So we'll say, if the car we want to delete is not equal to null, so we have actually found something we want to delete. And now what we have to say is if the previous car, so the car behind our car to delete, is not equal to null and it shouldn't be because it's not the starting pointer but we'll put this in like this anyway we have to say and remember what I said about say moving the middle car in a chain that the previous cars next is now going to be set equal to our car to deletes next so we're moving our car out of the middle so the previous cars put next pointer is set to equal to our car that we're removing is next. And this could be null, and in which case this will also be then set to null. And likewise, we have to do exactly the same for the next. So that we say if the car in front of the car we want to delete is not equal to null, just remove this, I pasted that in by accident, then what we have to say is our car to deletes next, whoops, previous, so say this was the last of the third car, now needs to be set equal to our car to deletes previous, like so. And effectively then we're simply removing at the middle link from the chain and setting car 1 to point to car 3 and car 3 to point to car 1.
So now we've done all that, the only remaining thing is a little bit of housekeeping for the block of memory that we have with our car to delete. So we'll say that if our car to delete is not equal to null, so that means we found something we wanted to delete, we've either dealt with it in this section here, or we've dealt with it in this section here, we've set all the pointers up correctly for the cars ahead and behind it, that means that we can now actually remove it. So we'll set this to point to null because everything else is set up and we can then free our car to delete like so. And last but not least we return as always our start pointer so we know where the beginning of the list is. And that's actually fairly simple uh, it looks a little bit difficult when you first come across it because of the next pointers and previous, but it's maybe worth just writing out on a piece of paper, just the uh, three cars and then deciding how that works. But it's essentially like taking a link out of a chain and joining the remaining links back up. So now that we've done that, all that remains is actually to compile the project. So I'll just bring this line in again here and compile. And now we can run the project and hopefully everything works. So let's type actually let's type yeah let's type an add and let's add a forward and now let's type delete straight away and see if we can delete the forward and now you can see we have total car zero and if I try and print again it'll tell me total car zero very good so let's add again add our forward uh, back in sorry name and speed so forward 100 and now let's add again and let's add Audi with a speed of 200 and now let's delete and let's delete our Ford again and now you can see that we've got one car and that's the Audi with the head behind and none so let's add start and let's add our Ford back in at the start and now let's try and delete and let's delete the Audi this time and now you can see we have the Ford left now let's delete and let's just type blah so no name at all and now you can see that we still have the Ford on the list. And just one more little thing, let's add the Audi with 200. And now let's add another car and let's add a Mercedes with 300. And now let's try and delete the Audi from the middle of this. And you can see that we have the Ford and the Mercedes on the list with the links set up OK. And let's now remove everything from the list. So let's delete the Merc and let's delete the Ford. And now we have total cars zero. So there we have it, pretty much the deletion function from our double linked list is now working and the only thing that remains actually is to implement a function to insert a car at a given place in the list. So I hope that makes some sense and helps and thanks so much for watching, comments, questions, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.